Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like he's gonna be super mad, maybe kind of embarrassed, you know, when he sees this video. But at the same time, like, I do story times. I wanna share with you guys everything. <laughs> Okay, I have to be real with you guys. This is not a sob story. These, like, I have so many stories to tell you of how I am just a god-awful girlfriend, like just intolerable person to date, that is just too good not to put in a story. And yeah, I have a feeling though, he could end up being mad at me or embarrassed. Like, you know, he's, he's kind of private. He'd be like, why'd you share this stuff? But uh, he doesn't even watch my YouTube anyway. So does that really matter? Like <laughs> these, like, again, like too good. Okay, why am I so itchy here? Okay, one second, like, let me check this out. I think it's just dry skin and now I'm kind of embarrassed, but one second. Ah! Over the summer while in Dallas, I met this boy and then I went off to college and then I came back and every time I kept coming back, I kept seeing him. Um, whether, you know, it was like happy times or me being like, you didn't really text me while I was in college, you know? But either way, like every break, I always end up making like amends with him. And then I went back to college and then things were better because, you know, I was like all crazy. And so he knew not to wander away from me. And then I returned from college and then we continued to date. In the beginning, during like the talking phase, I acted so cool, like so chill. Like who wouldn't want to be with me? And then it all went downhill from there, starting with, I think, Christmas, which, you know, those were some clear cut signs. He could have left, but he chose to stay. But I remember like, I don't know why, and I'm still like this, where I love making homemade gifts. The only thing is like, I'm not crafty. Like I have no artistic talent, but I was so dead set on making him all his gifts. So my mom comes into the kitchen and I'm like, sticky, like as sticky as can be. And like sticky, like all around my mouth. And she's like, what are you doing? And I look up to my mom and I'm like, I am making a necklace out of Lucky Charms. I'm 21 years old doing this. I'm literally threading through like the grainy cereal and like puncturing the marshmallows as like, like as long as like making it, I'm like eating it too because I can't have any self control. And it was just like this gross sticky necklace. And I remember when he opened it up, he was like, oh, how cool. Do you like it? Do you like it? And then, oh, oh, and then also, there were like more gifts to this. I decided to get like a blank Oscar trophy. <laughs> and on it, I wrote best lover. And then he had to like open it up at my house and my mom was home. And like, luckily my mom is so cool. She like knew what was happening. So I told her. And so my mom comes up and she's like, oh, like what did Leslie get you for Christmas? And he looked so awkward and embarrassed. And you could tell like he was refusing to bring that up. And then my mom's like, what's that? Oh, is that a trophy? <laughs> I made him this rock that was like, I painted it black with nail polish and I put fake snow on it. And it was supposed to be like milestones, like our relationship. And he just laughed for five minutes straight about how bad this gift was. So I was like, Ugh, okay. So then the next year, of course, I want to top myself, but I have no idea what I'm going to create. So I literally start making something where I'm like gluing seashells together and adding glitter. And my mom confiscated it and like refused to let me get it for him for Christmas. She's like, you will not get this. This is crap. <laughs> oh my God, wait, I still have it. Wait, let me go get it. You see it like, and it's like all special sparkly and stuff and I was like gluing on these little shells and like I don't know like what he was gonna use this for like put it on the back of his toilet <laughs> like I mean that's probably where all my gifts belong so to this day he refuses to show off his trophy which I find kind of insulting so in the beginning the majority of the time we were long distance and I decided I was going to send him a postcard because why not? That's like super cute. And so I don't know why, like I can never do anything, like anything normal. So I'm doing this postcard, like 
and by postcard I mean like an actual postcard where you know you can flip it over and read it like your mailman can read it like anyone like in the household can read it so like he lived with his parents at the time because he had just graduated and I put on this postcard and then I'm like I am attaching a naked selfie of me I hope you enjoy this you know with a wink face <laughs> and like the whole joke of it is like I don't but it makes it look like somebody purposely like some mailroom guy detached the photo and kept it for himself like there was no photo but like it was supposed to look like that because nothing was supposed to arrive with that photo but like I wrote that so I mail it to his parents house <laughs> and it gets delivered accidentally to his neighbor. <laughs> So the neighbors got it. They read it. <laughs> they think I'm probably as dumb as shit as like to send that in the mail. <laughs> then, like, sorry, this chair is squeaking. This, oh my gosh. And then, then they get hand delivered. Like knock on the door, handing it to his parents, who then like, like are so curious they have to read it too. And then they give it to him, and he's so embarrassed. Now I kind of wish I did attach a naked photo, but I have a feeling that still would not have managed to be sent with that postcard. So while I was in college, there was like a lot of like stations where you could do a craft or, you know, do a fun quiz, things like that. Like my college was always into like those little bits of engagement throughout campus. I don't know why, but I, I went to everything, especially if stuff was free. But um, so I remember like my sorority once did something where it was... Um, they kind of tried to replicate it where you have like a master painter. So it was like one of our really skilled sisters painting a sunflower. And then all of us sisters, you know, copied like what she was doing step by step, you know, like, like a, like an instructor class. And I remember my like picture was so insanely bad, like so, so bad. Didn't look like anyone else's. And I remember I gave it to him and he's like, this is so good. You know, like it was, always being so supportive and complimenting me and you know? I'm like but the main story of this I want to talk about is like then there was like this other station where you could make your own lotion and so you had like it was really cool like they provided like the bottle and then they had like unscented lotions and then they had these essential oils to add and I remember the guy who was like leading it was like, yeah, you just like add a few drops of essential oil. That's all you need. And of course I'm just thinking, Psh, that's not all I need. If this is free, I'm taking these expensive essential oils, mixing them together and dumping them in my lotion. <laughs> so I make this concoction that's like, here's the bottle. This much of it is essential oils. And it smelled like really strong, whatever, you know. So. You know, I, I go home one weekend or something. I pack in my suitcase and, you know, all's good. And, like, I tell him, like, we're having, like, a romantic time in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we just ended up hanging out in his room. So, it was on the bed. So, this story's not like that. But I was like, I have made you this, like, sensual lotion that I want to rub all over you. <laughs> and so... Um, always down for massages and back rubs. Like, he was so down. So, like, I pull out this lotion. <laughs> like, his back is turned because I'm, like, rubbing it on his back. Thank God I'm just rubbing it on his back because all of a sudden, he starts becoming so red. Like, his whole back is, like, flaming red. And I'm, like, looking at it. And I'm, like, um, do you have an allergy? <laughs> and he's, like, no, but I'm starting to get really itchy. <laughs> he turns around, he's like, what's in this lotion? And I have to tell him, I don't know, but I hold it up and it's like a pound of just pure essential oils. Apparently, um, you're not supposed to put a lot of essential oils in direct contact with your skin. That's why when you use like products like that, they only say do a couple drops or you're supposed to just like smell it. Yeah, like I didn't know that. So he ends up having to take a shower, but oh my God, like that story would have been way worse, but also way better if we were massaging other parts of his body. And 
to this day, I kind of regret that I wasn't doing that. <laughs> For the views of this video. If something were about to happen to me, I think the main thing that I want people to remember me as is just a really giving person. Like, as a girlfriend, I'm an A+. Plus. Like, I make you dinner. I mean, yes, the dinner is literally just steak on a plate. No vegetables, no fruit, nothing. And I don't provide you silverware because I expect you to eat the steak with your hands like me. But still, not everybody gets to eat steak five times a week. And you can if you're my boyfriend. Another thing is that sometimes I will treat you to things outside of the home. Like, I will buy you a dinner. I will buy you an ice cream cone. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, I can't keep a straight face. Oh, and before I forget, I just wanna let you know that I have an Amazon wish list. Um, take it from my ex-boyfriend, buying me stuff is really, really fun and such a rewarding experience. Now I saved the best for last. I'm sure there's a lot of other stories I'm gonna think of as soon as I upload this, but Oh my God, this is like a multi-layer story of like how bad. So towards the end of our long distance, everything was super good to the point where he decided that he's going to come and visit me in Tampa and he stays in my dorm room. Legit excited about this to the point where I clean my entire dorm, like literally like cleaning the floors, doing all this and that. There's even a video of my dorm room tour after I do this. I don't know where that is. It's uploaded to some channel. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. Anyway. Um, and like, I'm also looking up like things to do, Groupon. So I found like some Groupons to like great brunch places when we're out in the town in Tampa. And then also I was looking at the aquarium where you can pet the penguins. And I was thinking, that's really, really cool. You know, and I talked to Bree, my college roommate about this, and she had brought her boyfriend. And I was like, yeah, isn't it like, is it like $20 or something? And she's like, yeah, like, I think I remember it being like 20. I'm like, okay, perfect. Like he flies in, all is good, but we're not gonna do much the day of. But the next day, like, that's like the good jam-packed day of fun. So I'm super excited. So the next day comes and um, I kind of forgot to factor in the fact, like, that I sleep until 1 p.m. Like, and he knows I sleep in, but like, it was to the point where he's like hitting me with the pillow. He's like, wake up, like, wake up. It's 1 p.m., okay? Finally, I get up, but you know, I gotta look cute. I gotta like, wake up, wake up. So I think we're out the door by like 3 p.m. He is starving, I'm starving. We haven't eaten yet. Like I had no snacks in my dorm room. So we go to this place that I'm like, we need to go here, I have a group on here. So we charge the Uber and the Uber of course, like it's kind of a lot because this place is like way far from campus. I end up ordering like three appetizers for the table and we each have like these big full entrees, you know, like coconut shrimp, all this and that. And then like I'm eating and I'm full after like five coconut shrimp, like to the point where I'm like, Ugh, I'm sick. Like I don't want any of this, you know? I'm like not eating any of that. And then I like tap my phone and I look at the time and it's like 3.30 and the aquarium closes at 5 p.m. So I freak out. I immediately call another Uber. While he's still trying to finish his breakfast, the Uber comes, he's like, whoa, whoa, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know, pay for this. <laughs> so I may have paid for this. It's like a $70 meal, okay, with the Groupon. And in fact, the restaurant gave us like water, like obviously from the tap, because it was just in the glass with some ice, but they also charged for the water. I mean, I, I wasn't gonna argue, we had an aquarium to go to. So I'm like, ah, ah, pay, pay for this, pay for this, you know? So he's paying like for this $70 meal. We jump into the Uber and then we have to drive again like hella far to this aquarium. Hey, like I'm here to pay for your penguin exhibit. And then they say like, the penguin exhibit hasn't been open for weeks. I promised him penguins, you know? So I was like, okay, well, I'll just do like the general admissions, you know? And they tell me it's going to be $40 for each of us. And I'm like, $40 for the last hour? Like, are you sure, you know? And they were like dead set on me having to pay that. And I look at like my guy and I tell him, 
can't afford this. <laughs> we're no longer going to go see the fish, okay? We're not doing this anymore. So like the sun is beating down on us. We're like wandering around in this hot pavement, like not being able to see anything. <laughs> then we stumble upon like a tourist shop type thing. And you know, he's like, well maybe we can go in there and ask for directions. <laughs> Well, like, in the touristy place, like, they have souvenirs. I end up buying, like, all these expensive souvenirs. <laughs> so, I, like, I won't pay for that $70 brunch. I will not pay for him to go see, like, the fish at the aquarium. But I will buy lots of jewelry in the souvenir section for myself. So, I'm literally, like, Shopping around like the you know, I don't even flinch when they tell me how much it's gonna cost. I just hand over my credit card, like, oh my gosh, look how cute these are. Compliment me, you know. And I just he's just totally cool with it. Like <laughs> I still have the jewelry to this day and I don't even wear it. Like I don't even think I've worn it once. And it was like nautical themed, you know, touristy Florida, you know. Um, one of these days though, like if somebody asks me on a yacht, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Actually, the nautical theme might be tacky on a really classy yacht. But anyway, so, oh my god, but it's just like a series of unfortunate events. At least we eventually stumbled upon a movie theater and we went to go see that, so. Okay, that's it. I need to be quiet or else like no boy's gonna ever, ever want to date me. But I hope you guys found these entertaining. I seriously, like in the moment, did not know how hilariously bad I was being. I think just the true me is just a disaster. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've been like a really bad like boyfriend or girlfriend or had like a really bad date or like you just been a terrible person, let me know in the comments so I feel a lot better about myself. I love you. I mean it. Bye guys.